Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Altus hands-on practice questions. In today's video, we will create a simple line plot with filled area below the line. As you can see, this is a line plot, this is a filled area below the line. This will represent the yearly Christmas sales from the data set which we have. Okay, this is the year and this is our sales. We'll again customize this plot with specific colors. We will format the axes, labels, and even the title. So all these things we are going to do it using Python in Alteryx. Referring to the data set, we will be using it from Kaggle, and we will be using column number A, which is the year, and column number D, which is the total tree sold as the sales. In today's video, since it's a basic one, we'll be covering how to import the required libraries reading the data, setting up the plot, customizing the plot, plotting the data, and finally displaying and saving the plot. Moving up to Altris, we'll be using the Python tool here. We won't be using any input and output since this is the first video. Going forward, we'll explore other options using input, output, and even the macros with Python. Once you bring in this, it's important that you import the package as well as the alteries from AYX. This will be given by default, but in case it's not, you can see it here. So this is a Jupyter notebook which is embedded in Alteryx. Below is the code which will be generating our sales. I just run the code and show you the output later. We'll go to the explanation. Okay, this is taking some time. It took 22 seconds now. This is going to generate as an output, which is, if you see the timestamp, this is created now, which is the sales Christmas. And this is the graph which is being created. Now let's move on to the code. For importing the libraries, we would need pandas. So we'll do import pandas as PD, which the pandas library provides as a data manipulation and the analysis capabilities. Next is the numpy, which provides the mathematical functions and array operations. And the last one would be the pyplot from matplotlib library, which is used for creating the visualizations. Next step is to read the data. So to read the data, we'll be using the read CSV function, which reads the CSV file containing the data for the graph. And this will store it in the my data variable. Here we will be giving the path for the where our file is being stored. Third is setting up the plot. To set up the plot, we will be defining the outer color, which is the background of the plot. So if we see this, this the background is a lavender color. Next, to define the inner color, we will be again creating a color inner variable. This will color the area between the x-axis and the plotted line. So this is the x-axis, this is the plotted line. So this area is being covered in green. The next command is used to create a figure and an axis object with specified figure size, line width, and the face color. So face color which we are going to use is the lavender. So we'll be using this variable. You can use lavender here directly, but since we are going to use it multiple times, we have created a variable. Fourth one would be to customize the plot. We'll set up the face color of the axis to a specified outer color. Next, we'll remove the top, right, bottom, and the left spines, that is the borders of the plot, by using this command. We could have done this using a loop, but since this is a basic video, I have kept all these four separate. Next, we'll set the color of the tick labels on the X and Y axis to red. Then we'll set the title of the plot to yearly sales and we'll color it as red and the font will be bold. To plot the data, we'll assign the year column from the my data data frame to the variable x here. Then we'll assign the total tree sold, sold column from the my data data frame to the variable y1. We will be creating an array of zeros with the same shape as y1. This will be used to filling the 
area here okay this area which is there between a line and the x axis so in the next using the fills between we'll fill the area between the x axis and the line plotted by y1 with a specified inner color finally we will display and save the plot to display it on the screen we'll use plt.show and to save it we'll be using the figure.save function we'll provide a path of it along with the name which we want and we can specify the dpi along with the face color i hope you understood this video and this video was helpful stay tuned for other videos and please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching